The Couple's Corner with Team Bevins of I Still Do Ministries every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is another episode, and today you will get some good information, some great nuggets, and some tools to strengthen your relationship. The Couple's Corner with Team Bevins. Party people, how y'all feeling tonight? Welcome to the Couples Corner. We are Team Bevins. I am Marcus, and this is my wonderful wife, Cherie. And we are happy to be in the Couples Corner tonight. Uh, several reasons, because we love the dialogue that we get to have with you all. Um, but also, this is a special um, this is a special edition tonight um, because this is our anniversary week. Um, Our anniversary is on Wednesday, and uh, so, you know, we're going to enjoy ourselves tonight. You all will be able to uh, participate. Um, So, you know, again, thank you all for tuning in. Please feel free to share this with, uh, you know, people on in your your friends list. Um, For those of you who are tuned in through Mixed Station Radio, we appreciate you. Um, you really probably can't share it. You could text somebody and let them know that it's on. And, uh, and so we're going, you know, jump in, we're going to pray and, uh, and then we'll, you know, jump right into our topic of what we're going to share about tonight, which is make it last forever. Um, so let's pray. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to gather together in the couple's corner. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done, everything that you've shared with us, all of the things that you were able to give us. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us to, Um, share tonight in the couple's corner that we will be able to cause our relationships to be better to be stronger oh god that we will be wiser and that we will be able to have lasting relationships we love you we thank you for all that you're doing and for all of the ways that you've made for each couple that is represented tonight we thank you lord that this is a great time oh god to be in our relationships to be in our marriages and so we just thank you that you're giving us the tools that we need so that we can have longevity that we can make sure that everything that we set out to do that it will be done effectively and efficiently and we give you glory on and praise in jesus name amen Amen. all right so we're talking about making it last forever um and of course some of that is um you know based on um some of that is based on you know us being able to celebrate our anniversary and uh and so you know tonight we have a few people that will probably be calling in uh some of our wedding party uh members uh, calling in and to just kind of share with us tonight. So we're entering into chapter 21 of our, of our marriage. Um, and, and that's great. Yeah, we're happy about that. So that, and that's 21 years in a row. Uh, in a row. Baby. In a row. No breaks. Yeah, no breaks and, and all that. So we, we're celebrating that. But we do have a caller on the line. So, caller, how you doing tonight? Hello? Brian? No, yes, sir. Go ahead, talk. How you doing, oh, okay. sir? Can you hear us? Hey, man. Can you hear him? Uh, I think I can. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it looks, sounds uh, a little bit far, but I think I can hear. I think I can hear. Hey, I just wanted to call and uh, wish you all a happy uh, anniversary, man, you know, to uh, to make it 20, I think it's 21 years, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, 21 years. Congratulations on that, man, really. That's a, that's a testament to, uh, obviously, to both of you and Cherie and also uh, to your faith, of course, because... Um, uh, you know, marriage is not, um, it's not a one-time deal. You're in it for the long haul, you know. So uh, I applaud you all for hanging in there over these 21 years and, uh, and making it work, being an excellent example. So just wanted to congratulate you all, man, and uh, keep up the good work. You know, I'm looking forward to hearing the report over the next 21 years, you know. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. We definitely appreciate you calling in and sharing. This is my brother. Um, it's my brother, too. Um, and, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my brother. So, you know, he was uh, he was in he was in the wedding. He was uh, actually one of my best men. Um, and so you know, thank God for that. And you know, to to still be here twenty one years later, and we still good. One thing I can say is uh, that you didn't waste your money, brother. You know, because you know weddings ain't always cheap. That's good to know, man. Yes. I appreciate that because we asked for a refund for sure. <laughs> for a refund. So uh, I guess you've, you've reached the point now where I feel like, all right, all right, I can let that go now. So 
have my money back now at this point. So I feel like I got my money's worth at this point. So uh, that's good. Y'all, y'all keep it up. I'm serious and continue to set an example, man. Because as you know, growing up, we didn't we didn't have in, in our family circle we didn't have a lot of uh, examples. You know, we didn't have just dozens and dozens of examples of uh, couples that got married and, and stayed married for. Right. You know, 20 and 30 years, you know, so it's a blessing. I, I thank the Lord all the time for uh, you and me and George, you know, to mm-hmm. have been, uh, you know, to come from a home where, where, you know, single mother, you know, raising us, et cetera, et cetera, for by herself for a large part of the time. And you know, for all of us to end up married and, and married over 20 years is uh, just really a blessing. I thank the Lord for that all the time. So nice. I'm serious. Y'all keep up the good work. Keep setting that example. And give us something to aspire to, you know. Hey, that's good stuff. And how long? How long y'all been married now, man? Uh, twenty four, man. Twenty four years. Twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. That's what I'm nice. talking about, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Good yeah, stuff, man. We right there. Yeah, we right there with you. So listen, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I know y'all, y'all probably got some other people to talk to, but uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm really proud of y'all. I love both of y'all here. Yeah? Appreciate you, man. All right, we love you too. too. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. All right. So again, we're talking about, um, again, we're talking about making it last forever. Um, and you know, this is our anniversary week, so we're especially happy and, uh, it's a blessing to, you know, be entering into chapter 21 and, uh, we celebrate hard because marriage is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And not only you know, have we been able to accomplish marriage, but to accomplish family, because it's not just the two of us. And we have six children. Um, so that adds to um, I wouldn't necessarily say making the marriage complicated, but it make it adds dynamics to it. And so um, I'm just grateful for that. And, um, you know, I'm gonna let my wife share a few things in a moment. Um, but I just, you know, appreciate her because, um, you know, it takes a special kind of woman to be married to me. Um, you know, and I, I tell people that often, like, you know, it might be a lot of people that would like to be in her shoes, but many of you couldn't fit them and you couldn't tie them up. You couldn't walk in them um, because it takes a special type of person to deal with a person like me. Um, and so she's been able to successfully do it um, to successfully be my partner and not just my wife to be, you know, my, my support, to be my encouragement, to be, you know, my best friend. Like it's, it's levels to this, you know, what I mean, so. I'm just grateful that we have that. And that's, you know, that's a blessing for me to be able to have her as a wife, you know. So I appreciate you, sugar. Appreciate you, too. It's such a blessing. You're such a blessing in my life. (laughs) 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 But, you know, so um, if anybody else wants to call in, anybody that was in our wedding party, um, you can call in one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine if you were in our wedding party um, many many years ago. As my brother said, you've got your money's worth. You don't need no more <laughs> no refunds from us. <laughs> so call in and share something. You know, share something about the day. Something, anything, something right. make us laugh. Something. You know, we had enough sadness and drama in our life in the last month or so. So we want to hear something good, something positive. Um, and, um, I wanted to say also, um, I want to know if y'all learned anything from last week that y'all put into play for uh, putting a play from last Monday to this Monday about, um, being fully committed. So if y'all want to tell me that you can type on Facebook, if you're with us on Facebook, or you can call us at one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. So our anniversary again is Wednesday yeah, and yeah. I am excited. We are all excited. We both are excited. Our kids may not be excited, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> um, it's Wednesday. And I just hope that we continue to be an example for them. Right. You know, if, if we don't touch anybody but them, mm-hmm. I'm grateful for that because, um, you know, that everybody didn't have that, as my brother said, Marcus and him and George didn't have that to, you know, see. And so I just hope that our kids always know, you know, and are able to see a positive image of marriage and that marriages can work and that no matter what you go through, it can work. 
Um, you can make it last forever. No matter what you go through, you can get through it. I'm a witness of that. So uh, we have some callers. So I'm just going to keep talking after y'all finish. <laughs> All right. Cool bangs. All right. All right, so we have a call on the line. Caller, how you doing? Carla, how you doing? Alright. <laughs> Alright, Carla. Call us. Call us back. Call us back. <laughs> Y'all gotta um give us a second. Call us back. Alright. Alright, call back now. Like call right now. Like right now. Uh, Cause I think two or three people was calling at the same time. So call back right now. Alright. One eight five. All right, there we go. Hello. Hello. Wilbur. Who's this? Your name, man. <laughs> huh? It's your name. All right. Bless you, caller. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Bless you, sir. Caller, how you doing, sir? Tell him call Scott. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Happy Good. anniversary to both of you. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. So this was uh, one of the groomsmen in the in the wedding. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's twenty one years ago, brother. So, uh, you know, I want to know this, Jermaine. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. We <laughs> <sighs> have such a lovely relationship, guys. Um. I don't know. You may not have it, but if you still have your seat, can you fit it? <laughs> I more than likely would not be able to fit that seat. Um, but shout out to y'all. That that was definitely a nice pattern. I will never forget that seat. Yeah, that joint was tough. Yeah. Of course he wants Nice. I probably can't fit my wedding dress. No, no, no. So, uh, you know, appreciate you, man, for, you know, being in, even being in the wedding and, you know, back then believing in us um, when we were young and, in my case, a little dumb. Uh, but, Cause I you know, dumb. he's. <laughs> 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 but, uh, <laughs> but still had, still had some faith, you know. Um, and so, you know, just appreciate you, uh, you know, even being a part of our wedding and you know still even be remaining friends over all these years and all that good stuff man you know definitely appreciate that for real man honestly the pleasure was all mine i was actually honored um that you know both of you would ask um for me to be a part of that special day it was indeed um a special day and and i say this to you mark uh, privately and now surreal here as well but I definitely appreciate both of you being um, a great example of a godly couple um, and how to um, make marriage actually look easy and I know by far that marriage is not easy but it's one of the greatest journeys I believe that we can take and the beauty of the journey you know is going through those peaks and valleys but proving to each other that we're really vested in, you know, what we have honored God with and ultimately the commitment that we share with each other. So, um, again, thank you so much for being a great example to uh, my wife and I. Hey, man, that's Praise a blessing. God. Appreciate that's that definitely for a blessing. Real. And by far, it is not easy. Um, so, I, you know, I thank God that it, it may look that way for some, but, man, please, trust me, it ain't easy. Um I enjoy it, but I wouldn't dare lie to you and tell you that it's easy to do. So, I um, appreciate you, though, brother. You know, and we're looking forward man, to problem, we're looking forward to celebrating 21 years with y'all. 
Indeed, man. Indeed. Um, and again, um, that was one of the highlights of our day as well, is that um, you and Sheree were able to share in that um, occasion for both of us. And I know it was special, especially for you all, because you really know Jermaine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. I was just so grateful. I was just so grateful to the Lord. I said, "Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You can turn it around, right. Lord." <laughs> <laughs> See, this this is what me and Sheree end up having. So it, it, is, it has been such a pleasure with speaking with yes, you. Yes, it's been nice. A whole another twenty-one years. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up shalom alright bro alright All right, bye alright alright that's what we're gonna do alright Candace, you can call now Candace, okay. you can call now um so that's just nice it's nice to have longevity in your friends too Marcus I'm just glad that you can have a friendship that long that's really exactly. nice <laughs> It's amazing and you know y'all we all need friends that are like doing the same things we're doing or right. encouraging us to do good even if they may not be i'm not really necessarily talking about jermaine but if they may not be doing good like <laughs> encourage us uh, to do the, the right thing right we have another caller caller hi Sheree. hi hello hello Sheree Marcus. Hey. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. This is Candace, everyone. She's a bridesmaid. She doesn't need a refund either. She got her money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to really congratulate you guys on 20 years of uh, of commitment to one another and just fantastic children that you guys are raising uh -huh. and I really, my hats are off to you guys because I don't know how you do it. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm, I'm really serious. Um, and hustling and still have time for this and giving back to others is just amazing. So amazing. I um, I just wish you guys much love and and success. And I'm so happy I was a part of it when it started, um, which doesn't seem like that long ago. But right. it's been a few years ago. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> and truth be told, Candace was one of my biggest supporters. Oh, here we go. Candace she don't even remember always, that. Candace always <laughs> believed in Marcus. She was Team Marcus from Candace the beginning. Did. She did. She did. Now I need some other I people. Was. She was. She was. Most of my friends, you know, to tell the truth, most of my friends was Team Marcus. Even when I was like, what? <laughs> but they were. So. You know, it's just a good thing. And it's a good thing that we're all kind of still connected. We may not talk every day, you know, because mm -hmm. life sends you different directions. But we still know, you know, that, you know, like when my father passed, Candace was there. So many of our friends were there calling on the phone or coming over or doing whatever. And it's just good to know that we still have that support, you know, all the, over all these years. Right. <clears throat> yeah. So, so thank you for calling, Candace. Thank you. All thank right. You have a so good night. Much. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. I think Shauna was trying to call. Shauna, you can call now. You can call now. Uh, <laughs> right. We're gonna take this one one person yeah. at a time. Right. Shauna. I think we had seven on each mm. side or something, but yeah. Then we like seven yeah. on each side. Yeah, we seven on each side. So you know, it's a uh, it's just good, man. Seriously, because. Um, you know, truth be told, statistically, only 50 percent of marriages make it, you know. Um, and, and so that's a 50 50 chance that when you get married that you're going to make it. And I don't think that it has to be 50 50. I think that it determined it's determined on how determined you are that is going to work because marriage, it takes consistency. It takes work. It takes you being diligent. It takes you being, you know, on point and not, you know, not giving up or not you know, losing focus or all of that, you know what I mean? And nobody's saying that every day is going to be a great day. But what we are saying is if you want it to work, it can work. You just have to want it to work. That's the truth. And if you want it to work, you put the work in, it'll work. 
That's true. And listen, for my favorite people out there, my engaged people, one thing I wanna I wanna say about our wedding party and I'll save it until <laughs> Hello. 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 Hey Shauna. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Look, look, I was still, y'all had, I had to try to, like, stay up, because this might be time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got to get up at, look, I got to get up at four, but I said, man, I oh, told Toby you. we were going to stay up so we could call in. Oh, thank you. Hey, Toby. That's hey, Shauna's husband. What's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, do we just want to say, well... I forget the wedding. I can't even remember. It's been like so long. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. I know I had on blue though. Yeah, right. so you did. That's my favorite color. Yes, <laughs> blue and silver. But um, yeah, that's what it was. Blue and silver. Yeah. But I wanted to call and just say, you know, happy anniversary. Of course, Thank coming you. up. Thank you. Um, and also just to say, you know. Y'all have been, like, really be a big help to us, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even though we've been married about the same amount of time, y'all have been so yeah. big for us, especially with I Still Do, you know, and just the one-on-one -on -one that y'all gave us to help us keep going. So, you know, we just wanted to say happy anniversary. We wanted thank to say you. thank you. And, um, and so, do you want to say anything? Oh, you know, happy anniversary, many more. Thanks. Like us. Yeah, appreciate keep it. On, keep on trucking like we do. Yeah, right. keep pushing. Right. Yeah. That's all we can do. All right, thank y'all so much. Oh, you are y'all. Okay. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> What's she say? Yeah. Oh. Huh? Hello. Oh, we got we got real slow. Okay, well, oh. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank y'all for calling. Thank, thank you for staying up. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, all talk right, to y'all soon. All right, all right, bro. So tonight, for those of you who kind of tuned in a little late with us, um, we're talking about making it last forever, um, and that's you know partly from us. We're celebrating our anniversary this week. Our anniversary, our actual anniversary, is Wednesday, and we are um, celebrating chapter twenty-one. Um, so we're happy about that. And so, you know, tonight we are kind of two-parting it. Um, we were hearing from some of the people who were in our wedding um, party and, you know, them kind of sharing some things. And it's not limited to, you know, just them. For those who, you know, want to share or, or have something to say, you know, we're kind of making that space available because we generally um, don't do things like this where, you know, it's kind of about us. It's normally about you all. But we're really celebrating because, you know, 21 years in a row is not a small thing. Um, yeah. It's a it's a major accomplishment. And I don't care if it's not a major accomplishment to anybody else. It's a major accomplishment to us um, yeah. because it hasn't it hasn't been the easiest, you know, road to success. Yeah. It hasn't been the easiest journey. You know, we haven't made all of the greatest decisions and done all of the right things and been, you know, perfect or any of that. But we made a decision that we were going to stick it out, that we were going to, you know, we were going to okay. be consistent and we were going to do it. Um, right. And, you know, we're, we're still here. We're still kicking. And not only are we still here and still kicking, but we're here and we're happy. You know, yeah, we're, we're not here not grudgingly. Front. We're here and yeah. we're happy about being here. And so um, that's that's important to us. You know what I'm saying? So we are we're definitely grateful for that, you know. And, and I know that there are tons of people who have been married far, you know, far more um, far yes. many much more years yes. than what mm -hmm. we've been but you know we we celebrating this because this is big for us you know like my brother called a little early and like he shared you know and our our family demographic we didn't see a whole lot of success in marriage you know so it's big for us um and that's a blessing and a testament to itself that um myself and my two brothers have all been married 20 mm -hmm. plus years you yeah. know so we're actually we've been married the least amount of time mm -hmm. going into 21 so yep. um that we alone is a is a you know is a blessing in it so um we're just grateful for it you know um but in in making it last man that's a choice that's a decision and it's almost like what we, you know, kind of part two of what we talked about last week about being fully committed. You have to be fully committed to it. You have to be, you know, able to um, go into this with the mindset that 
I can't quit. You got to go into this with the mindset that we are a team and we're going to win. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that you don't have a couple rough games, but it, it's not a losing season just because you had a game that you may have lost. You know, it's not a losing game because you may have had a quarter that you lost. So, you know, you have to you just have to know that you're in it for the long haul and that you are you know, you have made your mind up that this is what you want to do. You know, it's it's not something to take lightly. You know, when we do these vows and we're talking about, you know, till death do us part, that's not that's not something that's that's minor. That's not something that's small. And so, you know, we're we're grateful, you know, to even be able to be in this position to celebrate 21 years of marriage, you know. Um, and like I was saying, you know, earlier that like it takes a special kind of woman to be married to me. You know, what I mean, not because. Um, because I'm so demanding and all of that, like, you know, it's not that kind of situation, but I'm talking about the type of person that I am, the type of heart that I have, the type of call that I have on my life, you know, um, the type of things that I, that I do as far as music and ministry and all of that, like that takes a special kind of person. That's not, that's not a job for just any woman. That's not a job for just anybody. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, that's that's something that that takes a, a great deal of character, a great deal of patience. And that's something that my wife thinks that she, you know, doesn't have the most of. But it has been shown that she mm-hmm. has it. You know what I'm saying? And so it might not be at the level or the place that she would desire it, mm-hmm. but she's got it and she's got it in the areas that I need it in. So, you know, it works. It works for me. And um, so, you know, that's stuff that that's that's big. So we have a couple of comments. And so she can. uh read a couple of the comments um and if anybody else wants to call in you can call in one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. if you're not a part of the wedding party you don't have to worry about that you can just call in um happy wednesday anniversary thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you um happy anniversary to y'all let nothing break apart what the lord has brought together thank you that's happy my man t- happy 21st anniversary thank you shorty um <laughs> bless you my brother and sister in christ god bless you too yes sir um happy anniversary marriage works when you make it a priority you two are a great example praise god it definitely does when you make it a priority because we right. put so many things before the things that are supposed to be the most important to us that's really good and then how can you make something work or make it right or fix it if it's not on your if it's not a priority <laughs> yeah <laughs> right right so um um so um what i was going to say to my engaged people my favorite people not that my married people y'all don't like y'all but my engaged people my favorite people anybody engaged i wanted to just say about your wedding party um anybody that's involved in your wedding they should be for you they mm-hmm. should be you know if i mean some some people you won't know some people you won't know are for you till later you know but <clears throat> they should be for you they should not cause you any stress matter of fact if you're causing them stress they should just be able to be like okay she getting or he getting about to get married we just gonna deal with this until and i just appreciate my wedding party for that because i didn't you know well, I had to weed some people out, but after that, <laughs> I didn't get like they did not stress me, you know. So to my favorite people, my engaged people, when you're picking people to be in your wedding, you know, don't pick them because you think they're gonna spend their money or they're gonna give you the best gift or you gotta pick them because you knew them for seventeen years. No, pick people that are really, really vested in pushing you, encouraging you, being there for you, you know, um, because I believe that we could probably call anyone that was in our wedding party and still, um, be able to, um, get encouragement from them or, or, you know, just get that push from them. Um, so I just, just be wise in how you pick who's standing with you on that day. Be very wise about it, you know, because that, and be very wise who walks that journey with you because that, um, that timing is you become very fragile. You, I, I would even say for the man because they're making so many decisions. Like I'm about to take on, you know, being in in charge of these people. Right. You know, like I'm about to be the head. Like, am I sure I want to do this? You know, you gotta pick people that's gonna be positive, that's gonna push you. That when you say like, mm, I ain't sure. Like tomorrow, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be walking down that aisle. They're gonna keep <laughs> encouraging you or whatever, you know, that they will help you get to the point that you want to be in. Um, because this is a life 
change a moment like nobody right. gets married to get divorced at least i didn't so right. nobody gets married to get divorced nobody gets married to you know go through drama and nobody wants to go through drama while they are planning their wedding you need people that's going to help you people that meet the need and i believe that our wedding party was able to do that and i'm and i'm grateful for them yeah. you know that they didn't fuss if i said we got to meet at miss june house Real quick, because y'all got to get remeasured or whatever. Miss June was the lady who did, and I have not seen her, but I know some of them, I mean, well, at least one of them may still talk to her, but she made our dresses. So nobody fussed about getting down there. Nobody fussed when I said we need to meet at the mall because we all going to get our shoes on the same day. Like, whatever I said, they just, we, we ro they rolled with it because they accepted the call of being in our wedding. So they rolled with whatever we said. When Marcus was sending my brother down to, or took my brother down to get fitted and going through all the stuff for their suits like they didn't complain when our brothers had to send their measurements you know right. they had to get because they don't live in baltimore so we had to work it out and they didn't complain you know they had to get to baltimore they did not complain they just did it you know and they supported us and don't think because they're your family member that they have to support you right because that doesn't always happen, even down to your parents sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you you can't you don't want to be frustrated. So you want to pick it wisely. So um, today our topic is um, make it make last it last forever. forever. I got fully committed in my mind. That's why I keep <laughs> stopping. Make it last forever. And so you know our anniversary is Wednesday. For those of you just getting on, we had our wedding party calling. Anybody who wants to call in and say anything, encourage us. Like I said before, we've had. Um, trauma, deaths, all of this in the last month. And so sometimes we need encouragement too. But, you know, um, anybody want to say something, you know, to us, you can call in one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. 495 Or if anyone wants to tell us um, something that they've learned from last week that they put into place about being fully committed or changing your position on how you felt about something or how you were helping your spouse, please do. Um, so that we can know that the things we talk about, you know, you're putting into place and you're working it in your marriage. Um, but being fully committed, I mean, being making it last forever, you just have to every day wake up and show up to your marriage. Like, this is your priority. That was good. What Candace said, this is your priority. And you got to make this work before you make anything else in life work. You got to give your all to your marriage like you give your all to your career. Right. Right. All right. We have, uh, we have. A comment um, and it was that um, said let me say this uh, we weren't in each other's wedding party but you were at my bridal shower and you said something to me that has made a tremendous difference in my marriage perspective you said remember these words in spite of I will and these five words have saved the day many times thanks mm -hmm. I'm not going to cry tonight. Too late, you don't. <laughs> Praise God. That's mm. a blessing. It is a blessing because you don't know when you're you're helping somebody. Right. You just want to help. Yes, you just want to tell people things that mean something. And, yes, that, and you want to be an example, too. That's my goal. My goal is that when I say it, that I'm doing it. Yes, right. So, you know, you never know who remembers or who is looking at you even the stuff that all the people called in and said it's just amazing because it didn't have to be this way anytime it could have turned out another way but you got to keep pressing and you got to keep showing an example even when it's painful mm -hmm. it's not always ha happy it's not always a, a joyful moment but you got to keep pushing so that you can get to the next level and it just warms my heart to know that if i can just touch one person if i can just you know, say something that means something. We talk so much, but what are you saying to people that are helping them that they're never going to forget? Right. What example are you living that they're always going to see? And they're going to be like, you know, I never forget that she never, she never disrespected Marcus in public and private either. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just little things like that. You know, when I look at different marriages, I, I get things from them. I see how people tend to their spouses and stuff like that. I'm always watching. And don't think, y'all, that we have 21 years. We're going into our 21st year that we have arrived or that we feel like we cannot be taught just as much as we get. We try to help people. We get help ourselves. Right. 
we do we really do if it gets too hectic for us we reach out for help because we do not want to fail and most of all we don't want to fail the people that are looking up to us right and it's not just and i'm not stupid i know it's not just my children but i don't want to fail them either and that doesn't mean oh you stay in something because you're saying like Marcus said we're happy this is not a front because I, if, well if you don't know me you know i i will not I won't front. I won't do it because I've had too many times where my heart was ripped because I was like, I thought, and they said, and they, and they look like, and they, oh, that's not really how it was. And I don't want to be that couple. Yeah. I don't want to be that couple. That's why I give y'all real life instances of things that have happened to us that we overcome. So, you know, if I can say anything to anybody, I can, you know, I just, and I remember being in her bridal shower. I didn't per se remember that I said that, but I'm just grateful that I was even wise enough to say that back then. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, so praise God. Yes. Thank yeah. you for making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's big because sometimes you can, um, you know, you don't really always know the impact that you have on people. Um, and it's almost like, you know, the the syndrome of the teacher. Um, you know, being a teacher for 16 years, I, I was able to see that every student that you teach, you don't see the impact that you have on their life because they're not always showing the impact at the time that is that is happening and so you know you don't always know or you don't always realize that um they got it or that it meant anything or you know whatever and so you know it, it's it's always a great thing when when you find out that that what you did or what you said worked or that it was something that um was a value of of substance because sometimes you know truthfully you can you can do things or say things and you can help people and you don't even know you helping them because you never even knew there was an issue um and everybody isn't walking around saying hey i'm hurting or hey we're struggling or hey this but sometimes just your general conversation the things that you say the way you conduct yourself gives them hope it gives them encouragement it, it helps and you don't know that or you don't see that and then later when they you know, happen to mention it or say something about it, you're kind of blown away because you never knew that you did anything. Um, but that's a that's a blessing. And it's good that 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 opportunity, you know, to be an example and not just to speak, um, you know, words that have no real value um, or to, you know, kind of mm -hmm. say things or do things when it really doesn't mean anything. So, you know, that's 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 important. That's a blessing. You know, it's just like when we when we first began, um, I still do. It was it was a burden that was on my heart and it was and it was out of nothing. Nothing had happened. Nothing was wrong. It was a godsend. And and it was it was just like out of nowhere. It just became this heavy burden and I told Cherie about it and, you know, she was just like, oh, OK, you know, because she really she really wasn't, you know, she really wasn't like, you know, that's your situation. That's what's on you. That ain't got nothing to do with me, you know. Um, but, I, you know, I shared it with her, you know what I mean? And um, and it, it didn't go away. You know how you can like have a thought or, you know, some, I mean, I, it, it wouldn't go away. It was just consistent. And, um, you know, I talked to my pastor about it and I was just like, man, it's, it's crazy because it's like it just won't leave me alone. He was like, you got to help. That that burden is there because you got to help. You know what I mean? Like and and for me, it was a thing of, you know, of course, like because I'm the type of person like I never think that I'm worthy of majority of the things that I do or that I have or that I get because I know me. I know the things that I've done. I know the ways that I've thought. I know, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a history that did not make God proud. So like, you know, when he entrusts me to do things or assigns me to do things, it's kind of like, are you sure? Like take a good look, make sure you're looking at this Marcus and you're not getting me confused with somebody yeah. else. You know what I mean? So, but like, it's, it's like, but who else? Who, who else better to help understand hurt than somebody that's been hurt and caused hurt? Who else to help somebody, you know, hold on other than some people who had moments where they considered giving up? You see what I'm saying? Like you, you have to you have to take into account that everything, you know, we later were able to look at that everything that we've experienced as a couple, everything that we've gone through as a couple was not a direct result of she and I. 
some of it was because of what we were going to have to face and who we were going to have to deal with and the people who were going to be in our lives. And in some instances, sometimes, you know, information isn't enough. Sometimes you need to be able to have application to back up your information. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people have said to me, you know, um, you know, you got a lot of wisdom and, you know, to be young, you got wisdom and all that. And I tell them, like, you know, for me, you know, uh, <laughs> I tell them for me, you know, wisdom, wisdom only comes, you know, for me. They, see, there's a difference in having, you know, revelational knowledge or, you know, understanding. But wisdom to me comes because of dumb choices that I've already made that I was able to learn from. So now I'm, I have wisdom mm -hmm. and insight in that area to help you because I already was dumb and I'm trying to stop you from being dumb. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not that, you know, I'm sitting down studying in, you know, 18 books, trying to get an understanding on how to, you know, walk two times with your left foot. No, it doesn't have anything to do with that. You know, it has to do with the fact that, you know, I've made enough mistakes that I can help some people prevent, making those same mistakes that I already made. You know, I've already I've already messed some things up where I can prevent someone else from messing up in that same area. And so it may appear as wisdom, but you know, I tell them if you say it a different way, you is dumb. So, you know, it, it that, <laughs> <laughs> that 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 wisdom, you know, comes with experience. So, you know, I don't I don't take that, you know, I don't take that lightly or or just look at that, you know, as something that just happened out of nowhere. So but, you know, if we're going to have success in our relationships and we're going to um, be people that have longevity, um, because, again, like she said, I don't really think that anybody was getting married, like, you know, looking at somebody like, oh, man, I think I just saw my next ex-wife. Like nobody is looking, you know, to get married, to get divorced. Like you're getting Amen. married because you Amen. want to be with that person. Amen. And, you know, so it all happens. It, it just works out sometimes that you give up at the same time. Because, see, most people that, that their relationship ends, it's not that one of them did not want to give up. It's just that the other person didn't, and they were able to coach them back into it, mm -hmm. and they got the game back together. But when they were able to give up, it was because the both of them were ready to give up at the same time, and there was nobody to encourage, and nobody reached out for encouragement. And so, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. And so that's what we're here for. That's why we you know, have kind of been commissioned to do this. And it's only to encourage, it's only to help. You know, I, I tell people all the time, like, it doesn't matter what information, what insight, you know, we give you, we can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink. I can splash you with the water and mm -hmm. get you wet, but it don't mean that you're going to drink it. So my job is done. When I get you to the water, I lead you to the place where you can get the tools and the things that you need. But your application is more important than my information. And so sometimes we put we put all of the onus on the person that's given the information, the wisdom, the knowledge or whatever the case. But we don't take the full responsibility of what we're supposed to be doing when it comes to the application. And if we're not going to apply the information that we're given, then we're not going to reach the level of success that we would desire, you know? And so, you know, again, we're just happy because Wednesday is our anniversary and we will be celebrating 21 years in a row. And, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a blessing for us, you know, hopefully, you know, it's a blessing to you, but if not, it don't change that it's a blessing for us because we know the journey, you know, we know what it has taken for us to um, be 21 years in marriage and still happy to be 21 years in marriage with six children. You know, like the, it hasn't been, you know, a, a road of um, of rose petals the whole way. But what we didn't do was we didn't give up. And that's what we're trying to tell you. You don't have to give up. Doesn't matter how bad it gets. Doesn't matter, you know, what the situation is. It doesn't matter what happened within the relationship. You don't have to give up. You don't have to. And uh, that's what we're here to encourage you with and for. Um, there, you know, we were talking about um, being fully committed last week, and I, I kind of wanted to um, touch base on one of the things that, um, you know, kind of wanted to touch base on one of the things that we were talking about with that. Um, one, First Thessalonians uh, five and eighteen, it says, "In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God everything. in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, Jesus concerning you." Mm -hmm. And sometimes we get we get you know mixed up with that because we like, well, why me? Well, why not you? You know, I mean, like you, you didn't order your steps. So, you know, like 
the thing that we got to understand about God is that God doesn't make mistakes. Now, we make some, but God doesn't make mistakes. And if your steps are ordered, if you have a relationship with him and if you are a person that has decided that you are going to follow the will and the way of God, then wherever you find yourself, you are equipped to make it through it. It's not supposed to be a place that's supposed to kill you. And it's not supposed to be a place that's supposed to destroy you. So if your steps are ordered and you're having issues, those Mm -hmm. issues, you will make it through. But if your steps ain't ordered and you somewhere you just decided to end up on your own and you did all of that, then you need to find the will of God and the way of God so that you can get back in his will so that his help will be there for you and that you will have all of the necessary tools and components that you need to make it. It doesn't mean that you can't make it because you have fallen out of his will. You just have to get back in it. Or if you've never been in his will, then you have to learn how to be in it. But in everything, we got to be able to give Mm -hmm. thanks. And sometimes we think that, you know, that that everything (laughs) is not inclusive of everything. Everything. It doesn't matter how good it is or how bad it is. Give him thanks. It doesn't matter if you feel good, if you feel bad. Give them thanks. It don't matter if you're winning or you feel like you're losing. Give them thanks because it's in your thanksgiving that you give to him that opens doors that you are not capable of opening on your own. And sometimes we're trying to open doors on our own that we are not capable of opening. And it would take the hand of God to do it. But how many of you know there's some things that you're not getting if you are not doing right by the person that needs to give it to you? Yeah. So. You know, it's important for us to understand that and to be able to use that properly because that will help position us to, you know, to be in the right place at the right time um, to do it. You know, so when we were talking about um, being fully committed, we, we have to learn to, you know, be a real partner, not just a couple. You know, it's easy to be a couple because all you got to do is like each other. But when you're a partner. You don't have to always agree. You don't always have to like each other. There are going to be days that, you know, he's going to get on your nerves or she's going to get on your nerves. But that doesn't change the fact that you're partners. You know, if if you and and Bill Gates went into partnership in business and because y'all had a bad quarter doesn't mean that, that you're that, you know, that quarter failed don't mean that you're not partners anymore. The only way that that happens is if somebody violates the the agreement and breaks the agreement and decides that I don't want to do this anymore as if there's not another chance to fix it, to make it mm-hmm. better. And so, you know, we've got to learn to be partners and not just couples. So, um, if you want to call in, you can call in one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. You can call in with comments, questions, um, um, encouragement, whatever you'd like to, um, call in with, um, and well, you can type your answers if you're with us on, I mean, your questions or comments, if you're with us on Facebook, um, you can type there and we will read them. Yep. Um, now, um, so, you know, for those of you who have never been to the marriage conference that, uh, we do with, I still do, um, we generally, uh, do it in October, but this year we're doing it in January. Uh, so January 24th and 25th next year we're going of there. next year, January of 2020, January the 24th and 25th will be um, the marriage conference. And so um, registration is going on now and you can register and, um, you know, we want you all to be there uh, this year. Our theme is a firm foundation and we are dealing with uh, strengthening the foundation that we have so that. Uh, our empires that we're building in these marriages will be able to last and be able to stand because we are um, doing this on a firm foundation. And I know some people are like, well, you know, I'm already married, been married eight years, three years, 12 years. Like, that's fine that you've been married for those, you know, for that amount of time. But you can secure your foundation. Um, You can reinforce your foundation. This foundation does not have to just be for those who are starting to build their house from the ground up. Um, and so we just want everything that we do to be able to last and, uh, and to be successful. And so that has to start with a firm foundation. And that's what we're going to be doing um, in the marriage conference this year. So 
we'll um, put the flyer up in in uh, for those of you who are with us on social media we'll put the flyer up in uh, the video a little later after it ends um, along with the information for you all to be able to register so that you can be a part um, and um, my wife is going to read um, some of the uh, we had another comment that came in, um, but anyone who wants to call in, wants to share anything that you can feel free to do. So the number is one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. Again, it's one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. And after she deals with the comments, then I'll come back and I'll give you a little more information about something else that we have going on. OK, but can you also tell the mix station radio how to register? Yes. Um, if you want to register, uh, for those of you that are listening um, by Mix Station Radio, you can go to www.mkt.com backslash w-marcus-bevins. And that will take you to our online store, uh, which will allow you to register for the uh, marriage conference Um and then, you know, of course, while you're there, look around. There are some books and some other things that are available that you can uh, have access to as well. Um, but that's how you will be able to um, register online. Um, okay. And so great encouragement from a lovely couple. Praise God, Gwanda. That's our girl. <laughs> Happy <laughs> anniversary and many more to come. Thank you. Um Thank y'all for praying for us and speaking life into our marriage. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Um, I was going to say something. This is a sign of my age, maybe. Definitely. Uh, I'm young, though. I'm young. I'm really young, y'all. Um, I can't even remember what I was going to say. Go ahead. Uh, I can't um, remember. No, I'm going to write it down. I can't remember what I was going to say. Go oh, ahead. Do right. you say so, what the other thing you need to say. Uh, the other thing that I was going to say, um, actually in a, a little less than two hours, um, because I'm happy, will be available um, everywhere digital music is sold. That is um, a motivational project that I did. Um, I've been on my workout journey for a little while now, just trying to be healthy. And um, I you know, was struggling finding good music to use in my playlist to keep me motivated while I worked out. Um, and being a producer, I was able to uh, create my own. And so that's what I did. And it worked for me. So I thought, you know, hey, why not share it with the world? So that's what I did. Um, and so it'll be available everywhere um, that digital music is sold. And all you have to do is uh, go to any of those digital outlets and just type in my name, W. Marcus Bevins. And uh, it should pop up. You may see a couple of projects, but because I'm happy is the one that uh, will be released in just a matter of uh, hours. Of hours. And uh, that one is, you know, a motivational project. It's all upbeat music. It's great for those of you who are working out. If you're walking, you're jogging, if you are, um, you know, cleaning in the house, you're driving, you're going, you know, got some distance and all of that. So it's a, it's just a great upbeat, uplifting uh, project that will um, I believe be a blessing and kind of help you out. So, you know, something that you definitely need to have in your archives and, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think, how it's able to help you and uh, what it does for you. I would love to hear those testimonies. Yes. And it's not your worship CD. He does have worship CDs, but this, yeah, this is, is not, different. This is not worship. Okay. So you will be moving. Right. You will be tapping your foot, you know, might motivate you to, you know, clean those clothes out the corner that's been sitting there yeah. for a while, you know. <laughs> Walk around the track a little bit faster than you was walking last week. Right. That's what it's for. So, guys, um, you know, tonight, again, we're talking about um, making it last forever. And that's our prayer that we will, you know, be together till death do us part. Um, and that's what everybody should be striving towards, to be together, you know, if you're married, to be together till death do you part. You know, think about your vows. This is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to think about the vows you said and think about are you committed to those vows? Are you upholding those vows? Right. Are you um, doing what you said you would do when you were getting married on that day or leading up to that day or, you know, the weeks, the months after when you were still in the honeymoon phase before you had that big argument or disagreement or whatever mm -hmm. are you still um trying to push through to those goals or uh, everything that you wanted to have you wanted to have the house on the hill and you know 
three, four cars and good career. Are you still pushing towards that if you haven't obtained it? Whatever goals that you had when you first got married, um, whatever commitment you wanted to make or you said you would make that you were going to make it last forever are you still doing that and if not today is the day of change today is the day to start you know we do not have a give up spirit you know anybody listening i cast out that spirit of giving up and of quitting Mm -hmm. and i pray that you will be strong and that you will be focused and that your mind will be clear and that every day that you get up that you will go forward towards the priority of making your marriage the best that it can be that you will first deal with yourself and then you will deal with your marriage because sometimes we're looking to the outside so much and we don't look to ourselves and see what we're not doing we have to play our role so if you had a husband you have to find out what god has created the husband to be and be that if you're the wife you have to find out what god has created the wife to be and be that so um that is my encouragement for this week that you would continue to want to make it last forever that you would want to you know press toward being the best marriage you can be being an example being someone or some or the team that people can look to or look up to or or that people can trust if they have to come to you with something they need help with. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one thing about us. We do not share people's information. People can trust us and we will pray for you. And we don't just put up hand praying hand emojis and don't actually pray, you know? And so that's why you have to be careful where you go and who you speak to. um, Even if they're your family member, because people that are saying they're praying, you know, for you, you know, maybe praying on you, praying that your marriage doesn't work or praying that you just get over it or get rid of each other. So you need to know that that person is really going to be in your corner um, when you feel like you can't hear from God or you can't um, or you're not moving towards the things that you need to or you can't get past the situation. But my prayer is that y'all will make it, that everybody that's listening, that's listening now, that will listen to the replay, that I speak life into your marriage. And that it will be successful in the name of Jesus. That I'm standing on that. That we can make it. We can do this. No longer will we be statistics. No longer will people say, I knew it. See, that's why I'm not going to get married. Because, no, this thing can work. My parents were married for 57 years. And it was till death did them part. So I know that this can work. I know, I know, I know that it can work. So I know there are many other people that have been married for longer than that. You know, I have aunt who was married for a long time too. And it was till death did them part. So you have to know that this is where you're in for. And so when something happens, you're going to work it out and you're going to keep moving forward. I love it. And that's the truth. And if, you know, if you guys want to um, ensure that, your relationship has the longevity that it's capable of having because um, something that is very important to know is that just because you have potential doesn't mean that your potential becomes reality. And um, it's our goal to try to help you to make sure that your potential becomes reality. And that's what we are striving for. That's what we're trying to give you the necessary things to you know, cause you to have that longevity to cause you to um, be successful in that relationship. And so, you know, we just hope that you guys are not just listening, but that you're also applying, applying, you know, because that's that's big. That's important. And if we do that, you know, you would be able to learn or you would be able to, you know, understand what is, you know, what is expected of you to make sure that your relationship has some um some success and so the success of your marriage is in your hands and it is your responsibility so um you know that's something that you all have to be mindful of and that you have to do everything in your power to make sure that you are um successful because that's where the success lies in your hands in your relationship so you know we appreciate you all for um tuning in with us tonight um and again you know we want you all to stay connected be encouraged encourage someone else you know be an example that marriage works you know make sure that you're having some fun in your relationship don't just you know don't just be existing make sure that you are living in your relationship you know Mm -hmm. date whether it's in the house even if you ain't going somewhere you don't have enough you know whatever you you date you go in a basement go in a room close the door and just you know what i mean make it into whatever you want it to be because it's necessary for the two of you thank you for tuning in to the couple's corner with team beverage we're grateful that you stopped by and shared your time with us
us tonight. We look forward to seeing you again here next week at 9 p.m. And feel free to share this on your page with any of your people who would benefit from this conversation. We're grateful that you shared your time with us. And now we've got to go, but we look forward to connecting with you again here on the Couples Corner with Team Better. It's anniversary return up time. <laughs> We're hollow base. <laughs>